So welcome back guys to our Viking Let's Build series and today I'm just going to be showing you how I did the interior and also a few exterior things on this Viking Butcher. So to start off I guess I'll just go to this little market place area. So instead of just having it be a machine that kind of dragged all the meat and stuff in, I just had them hanging because usually back in uh, these medieval times they didn't have machinery or anything. I mean like the most advanced thing they would have is that water meal or a windmill. Uh, so I just turned this in, instead of having these open gaps, I put in some stairs and whatnot, so the owner of this place could uh, advertise his meat and whatnot and sell it. But there's also still this blood and the, the little drainage thing. And then if you go back from here, I added some fences in like this, so he had an exit in the back where he could drag his meat if the customer wanted it cooked, and that's why that redstone's there as blood, and it's got like the drag line. So he just drags his meat here, tosses it in the fire. This is actually the first working fire I've ever made. So i got to give, give myself a little pat on the back for that. And then this is just some chimney thing. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain how I did it. I guess I'll just fly around in a circle so you guys can get an idea if you want to try doing the, sun, the same thing. But uh, if you aren't sure how, you could just check out the bakery tutorial video and instead just use maybe this bottom half up to here and that would also create a cool looking little smelter for the meat and then just use cobwebs for the smoke and anyways now we'll move to the left side and go on in and I believe that was pretty much all I did for the exterior besides maybe some let's see yeah there was one more fence thing I did right here so instead of having a doorway because I mean, you got some meat in here and stuff, and just in case it starts rotting, you kind of want the smell to go, especially for the customers. They want to smell that, or else they won't buy the meat. So I put this little fence in instead of an actual wall, so the smell could go out, and then he's also got these doors to make it easier for him to go back to his little market area. And so if we go back in, this is just a 1x3 table made by stone brick stairs, and then I used redstone as blood, and then... For this texture pack, the best thing that you could use for the meat and whatnot would either be, let's see, the nether rack, or a better one would be the nether quartz ore, just because it looks like there's still some bone in it. I think these are just plain nether rack, and then these are the ones with bone. And also, if you are using this texture pack, you could use the picture and make some knives, and I think other ones have it as well. And then on the ceiling, I put in these little crossbeam things, so it's just a stair, half slab in the middle, and then a stair, and then same right here. And this little wall is one block to the right and one block back from the door. And then it's just a pillar made of oak wood, actually not oak wood, spruce wood. And that goes up four tall, then it goes two over, and then four back down. And that's going to create this little pantry area where you can store some meat. And also, don't forget to add that little redstone just to make it look like there's still some blood. And then right above the door I just put two spruce wood stairs facing that way. And that is actually going to do it for the downstairs. There wasn't too much room to do a whole lot in here. I guess we don't really need it since all he needs to do in here is cut up the meat and then bring it out there to hang and dry and then sell later on or cook. And then as we go upstairs, this is also pretty simple upstairs. I mean, the bat's pretty crazy. Uh, but anything else in here is pretty much simple. So I just did one flag right here to add some color to it. And then we've got this table. I think that's jungle wood. And it's just a stair flipped upside down with a candle on top for a little bit of lighting. Then he's got his chest for supplies. And maybe the store is gold and stuff. Then he's got his bed. And this carpet is probably like a wolf skin or maybe the pelt of whatever he killed to get his meat. And this is the light gray carpet. And I like this one because it actually shows the wood on the outside rim, whereas if you used a different one, it would just be a plain old square. And also, for the stairs, I just did kind of a half spiral, so it goes two up, then a full block, and then one, two, three, to get to the second level. And then to make it so you can go down, there was this block when we first made it, and I think it was... Let's see. It was like this or this at the beginning. So just delete those two blocks on the bottom and then place in a spruce wood stair like that. And it should make it easy to go up and down. 
And I believe that is actually it for this tutorial. So make sure and let me know what you want to see next down in the comments because uh, Wednesday we'll be doing a full building instead of just an interior tutorial. So we'll do maybe a windmill would look good for this village. Actually, we'll probably be doing the medieval style next or the gothic because I usually like to go a different one each time. So instead of just going Viking, 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 we'll do it like Viking, medieval, then gothic, and then back to Viking. And also in between those are going to be the interior videos for whatever we just built. So yeah, once again, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching, and as always, I will see you next time.